and welcome to the warm up presented by Reese Myron and Company CPAs. We are at Fort Army continuing with our high school football previews, ready to talk about the 2015 Redskin team, joined by Whit Parks, coaching veteran, first year at Heads, as head coach here at Fort Warmy, how are things? How are this? How's the transition going for you and the guys? I feel really good about some of the things that are happening. Uh, you know, anytime there's a transition in coaches, you know, and I've been through this a few times. A lot of times, it's a struggle to get kids on the right page and get people doing the things you want them to do. But uh, our guys have been uh, sensational as far as trying to pick things up and their attitude and and great work ethic. I, I knew that before I came here, but it's been great work ethic. Fort Warm is used to being in the postseason six straight years under head coach Matt Bergbacher. What have you seen out of the guys and so far in camp that prepares them to succeed in the regular season and find themselves in week 11? Well, there's, there's a handful of guys who have, who have played before. You know, we've got a, a few veterans around, so it's not, but we've got some new people mixed in also. But I like their confidence. Um, you know, I like, I like uh, in general, their attitude. Uh, the, the whole work thing is probably the biggest thing that I've seen is uh, the, they're what they they strap it on every day. They come to work, and and I haven't had to goose them too much to get them going. And that's that's always fun as a coach when you got some people who are self starters. How are the numbers this year for Fort Lauderdale? Uh, we're at 42, which is uh, you know pretty pretty good I think. Um, you know hopefully get a few more than that as time goes on. But got great junior high numbers, uh, so we're going to work real hard on keeping all those kids interested. You know, some of the younger kids filling in over Starting here right now, watching the varsity. Now, right? Yeah, watching the varsity practice. They'll get going. For you personally, you've been around coaching a long time. Previously coached at Minster, so you're familiar with the area. What does it mean to you to return to this area and and coach at Fort Warming? Yeah, well, I really like this area. Uh, my wife likes it, really likes it. So she was really fired up about coming back here and, and doing this. So uh, we're excited. Uh, I love the football in this area. Uh, great people in this area, you know, in, in both communities that, that I'm in, Fort Lormie and before when I was in Minster, great people and, and great kids to work with. And it's, you guys all know what the, uh, what the football's like. It's, uh, it doesn't get any better than this uh, in the small school football any place in the United States. So that's always exciting. To, to, I'm real excited to be involved in that again. Yeah, it's very high quality, and it's fun to cover it as well. You've been around this Lormie team a little bit, thanks in part to your son. He's on the coaching staff, right, Ty? Right. So what else, uh, who else is rounding out your coaching staff? And it must be nice to have some family. <laughs> well, it, it is, and, and I one of the great things for me coming back in is there's real familiar familiarity because, uh, of course, Ty's here, and he, he played for me, understands the program. Um, Dan Holland, who's our superintendent, he coached with me before, so he's helping his coach. Chuck Seaver was with me before, and he, he was here. He came out of retirement to uh, coach with us again. Um, we got another young guy, uh, Brad Frilling, who played here at Fort Lormie, so it's great to have him on the staff too. For the senior class, how have you seen them come together here and, and start leading and in, in sometimes go from junior to senior year? takes a little for the guys to take on that leadership role. How have you seen them it does. take charge? It does take a little while. Um, I don't know them well enough probably to be able to read them like I need to read them. I'll, I'll know them here later on a little bit better. But um, they want to win. I mean, it's very evident to me that they want to win, and, and they're willing to do anything we ask them to do. And, I mean, we, we've all, we're all on the same page, and um, – I, I just like the way they're approaching things. Do you have a lot of returning starters, or is it new faces? Um, you know, it's about half half offense, half defense. So there's a lot of new faces in there. Um, there's some sophomores that played last year, juniors, you know, so they've got a, a year under their belt. Um, but um, it's a mixture of veterans and, and new guys. Scheme-wise, what can we expect uh, offensively? Well, offensively, we're experimenting a little bit. Um, but uh, we're, we're uh, pretty much into pistol offense. Um, we we'll spread some receivers around a little bit, but uh, we're primarily uh, want to establish ourselves as a power football team and be able to run the football. And um, you know, that's to me, that's that's the number one thing on offense, and that's not the philosophy of everybody today. But I guess that's old school, and I want to establish and control the line of scrimmage when we can. So we're we're working to do that, and I know the weight room is a big part of that. We're a little behind there, but we're working real hard there too. What about on the defensive side of the ball? On defense, our, our base is a 4-3 defense, um, which turns into a 4-2 most of the time with all the spread looks and everything. But we're going to try to keep as many people as we can in the box, st stop the run, and uh, try to control the pass and not get beat for any big touchdown passes. You got your first look at your guys in, in a game situation mm -hmm. yesterday in the first scrimmage. What did you get out of that scrimmage? 
Well, it's like I told him going in, there'd be some good and some bad, and I didn't disappoint him. Hmm. It was some good and some bad. Yeah. But I told him the things we wanted to see, first of all, is we wanted to be physical, and uh, we wanted to hustle. And I wanted to see a great team attitude. And I saw those three things. So I'm encouraged from that standpoint. Uh, a lot of mistakes. Uh, it's a new system. A lot of mental errors, things like that. But those are correctable. The other things, if you don't have them, it's hard to correct them. But they have those things. Traditional opener for you guys against Minster. It's got to be an extra special game for you. What do you think the guys need to improve on most between now and week one? Well, Minster is outstanding. I mean, they've got a lot of guys back. They're probably the best quarterback in this part of the state. And they're an outstanding football team with all the confidence of coming off of a state championship. We know how good they are. We're just trying to get competitive enough to make it a good football game. And, that, and we're working real hard at that. And you got another Mac opponent in Fort Recovery. So your non-conference schedule, follow that up with Bluffton before you get into the NWCC. You should know a lot about your team by the time you hit the conference right. week four. They didn't do me any favors with the schedule, that's no. for sure. That's a, that's a tough start with three excellent football programs, football teams, a lot of guys coming back. And we're going to have to be good early. Um, but, you know, we're just going to take them one, one game at a time. I know that's coach speak. You hear that from everybody. But that's what we're going to do. And right now we're just practicing the day, hoping to get better for, for tomorrow. So especially when you start out, I think that's the approach you have to take. Then when you get in the league play, the NWCC is pretty competitive, getting better and better every year, and Fort Lorme is used to being at the top. Where do you see yourself fitting into the league this year? You know, I, I, I saw the league for the first time last year. I saw some games, very competitive. Um, I haven't had much time to think about that. It's been such a busy transition, and, mm -hmm. and getting ready for our first three non-league opponents is, is real tough. So um, we'll, we'll get prepared for it, and we know what it is, and uh, hopefully we can, we can be there at the end and, and be fighting for a championship, I hope. A couple weeks into camp as we tape this, what's this team's biggest strength right now? I think we have good team speed. I'm really, really impressed with that, um, and a lot of want, well, I want to. And uh, as a head football coach, that's what I'm all about. I want guys around me that have the same passion that I have for the game and the same want to to do the right things, and, and they're doing that. And have you seen a lot of progress from the start of camp to right now? I know that's very important, and you want to see the guys moving in the right direction. Is that something you've noticed? Yeah, we have. We look for, we look for daily improvement. You know, we spend a lot of time on personnel as a coaching staff talking about people, and, and for me being new, trying to get people in the right places. And it's, it's helped me having this, most of these guys that were here last year on the staff. That's helped a lot. But we still are, are trying to find the right people for some spots, but uh, I think we'll find them. Yeah, you got some time to work it out. Well, yeah. thank you very Two much. Days. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much, Coach Parks. Guest of luck this season here at Fort Laramie. We need to take a break on the warm up presented by Reese Myrene and Company CPAs. When we return, Mark Kutz will chat with some of the Redskin players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Reese Myring and Company CPAs. I'm Mark Kuntz as we continue with the Fort Lormie Redskins. Joined now by a pair of seniors, Drew Weirman and Dylan Eilerman. And Drew, we'll start off with you. Whit Parks, your new head coach. Of course, he was around the program a little bit last year. So has it been a, an easy transition to Coach Parks? Yeah, I mean, it's going well. We're all in of what, he's, what we believe in. We're following with him the whole way. Dylan, what's the biggest difference between this year and last year? Uh, it's just a different style of offense, a completely new style. We're going back to a huddle instead of last year. It was a no huddle, get moving offense, and it's, it's different. <laughs> Having a little bit more of, a, of an up speed offense, did that make sure you guys put a, a, put a bigger uh, emphasis on conditioning than this offseason? Uh, yeah, we've been doing a bunch of different drills, working on quick movements instead of uh, full-length sprints, and I can tell it's working. Drew, what was the off-season like for you guys? Was it, uh, it had to be at least a little bit different from, from years past? Yeah, we didn't know what to expect coming in, and we got to it. We all went with it and see how it's going well. One thing we can always expect out of Fort Lormie football, a tough non-conference schedule, no different this year as they open up against Minster, defending state champions. That's a big rivalry game for you guys. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a big game. We respect them. They respect us. We're preparing for it as it goes. And, Dylan, a couple of weeks before that game with Minster, what do you guys need to work on the most between now and then? Uh, we just need to work on our 
uh, getting the offensive plays down in our last scrimmage. We had a couple of hiccups that really cost us, and I think when we fix that, we'll be fine. Drew, we've talked a little about the offense. Let's talk defensively. You uh, are on the defensive backs for the, in, the, in the secondary. What have you seen defensively so far this year? Uh, well, our defense, our secondary, we switched up, switched it up, and we're man now. We used, like last year, we were all zone, zone read and stuff. Now we're all man. It's different, but I like how it's working. Dylan, what do you think the strength of this year's team's going to be? Uh, our defense. In that last scrimmage, our offense had hiccups, like I said, but our defense held strong. We didn't. We kept the other team to not moving the ball real well, and I liked it. It was fun. All right, Dylan Eilerman and Drew Wehrman, thank you. We're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Reese Myron and Company CPAs. When we come back, more from Fort Lormie here on WOSN. It's the warm-up presented by Reese Meyer and Company CPA as we continue with the Fort Lormie Redskins joined my, now by two more seniors from Fort Lormie. Jacob Kitzmiller, linebacker and center, and on the end, Logan Brackman, wide receiver and defensive end. Both of you guys are seniors. You've been through the grind the last couple of years as Fort Lormie has made it with regularity to Week 11. Jacob, what would it mean as a senior to, to keep that playoff streak going for this team? Um, for us, it would mean a lot coming, with, coming back with a new coach. Hopefully... Uh, all the work we're putting in here will mean something in the end so we can make the playoffs again. But we got a tough schedule that we got to make it through first. So, Logan, speaking of that tough schedule, open up against Minster and then for recovery, a pair of MAC schools that went to the playoffs and then bluffed them before you get into the NWCC. In some ways, is your non-conference schedule maybe a little bit more difficult than your conference schedule? It may be a little more difficult, but we're still really excited for those games because those are the games that we're going to work for. And we know they're all good teams, so... That's what we're out here for right now. For a few more years, you guys will be in the NWCC for football. You joined a couple years ago, and it's kind of been you guys and Layman Catholic kind of deciding the race the last few years. You guys will take on Layman Catholic at Fort Lormie Week 8. Logan, is that maybe a conference game you're looking ahead to the most? Yeah, that's one of the games I look forward to most during the year because it's just a rivalry game we've had the last few years, and just really excited for it see how it goes this year. Jacob, you kind of touched on it. New head coach in Whit Parks, veteran head coach. He's been coaching for almost as, twice as long as you guys have been alive. He's got a lot of experience. Can, can you tell that as he comes onto a practice field that you can just tell he, he knows what he's doing out there? Oh, yeah. We're definitely working a lot harder, getting stuff done a lot quicker, working a lot harder in the weight room. He brings his tough mentality out here, and we just try and follow along and buy into what he's doing. I know for a fact it's going to pay off in the end. So, Jacob, what are the goals for this year's team? Um, obviously make it to the playoffs, hopefully deeper than the past couple of years. We'll obviously beat some of our big opponents, Minster, Lehman, Fort Recovery, Bluffton, and just try and make the playoffs again. All right, thank you very much. Jacob Kitzmiller and Logan Brackman. Of course, the Fort Lormie Harden Northern game you'll be able to see here on WOSN. That's going to do it for us tonight on The Warp. I want to thank all of our guests. For Matt Finkel and Joe Vernick, I'm Mark Koontz. Thank you to Reese Myring and Company CPAs for sponsoring tonight's Warp.